Hey guys, Felipe here with another haircut video. Uh, I have not updated any videos in about a month. I was away on vacation and did not have the time. So, welcome back. Um, this haircut here, we are going to be doing a a low drop skin fade and a disconnected undercut on one side and the other side will be blending the top hair with the bottom hair. And so the length that we're going to be using is the number two guard on the right side of the client's head. And I am using that guard all the way up to the line as you see here. I am making sure that the number two is all even all the way up to the part. On the other side of the head, because we are blending the hair together, I am using the number two going straight up in the air. I am not following the head shape whatsoever. Uh, that allows the hair to pretty much blend itself. Um, I am going to fine tune that blend later on in the haircut, but for now, we're going to leave it as is. And here to start the skin fade, um, I'm using my triple zeros. I, I'm using the back of the blades just to set a vague guideline and then I will use the, the front of the blade to, to remove all the hair and set the proper you know, length and everything. Um, it is a low skin fade so we are setting at about a quarter inch um, above the ears height. Like I said, we are dropping it uh, behind the head below the occipital bone. Now with the Slimline Pros, um, setting just another layer of found, uh, just another layer of transition. I am not going all the way up to the line that I had set with the triple zeros. If I do it, if I do that, then um, I'm not setting another tr transition layer. So I'm using that because it cuts a little bit lower than the triple zeros. And then I am going to be doing the same thing with the shaver, with the Wall Star, Wall Five Star Shaver. It is a low skin fade, so we don't want to set that second guideline too high. Um, I'm using about half an inch. Um, if we stretch that out to about an inch or three quarters of an inch, then it's gonna go from a low skin fade to a stretched out mid skin fade. I am setting a about half an inch guideline along the sides, and then I will uh, set a, just a slight bit longer, so maybe three quarters of an inch on the back of the head. Once I do that, I am going to start uh, knocking down that bottom line. Now, in previous videos, I have said that you can close the lever halfway, but I have found that you get a better blend if you gr gradually go from completely closed blade to half blade and even sometimes three quarters of a way open blade. Um, and with that, I am flicking out the line very heavily. If I don't flick it out, then I am just going to create another line. You must practice this and you must trust the process. Here what I'm doing is I close the lever, flicking out that line gradually, just opening and making sure that that blend is completely evened out. Once I finish doing that, I take my number one guard with the blade open and I am setting my second guy line. Um, I'm doing this uh, at about an inch height here uh, with the blade open. I do one side and then I close the blade, remove that line, and I'll repeat the process on the back of the head and on the other side of the head. Now with the half guard here, I am just making sure that that blend between the half guard and the one is pretty smooth sometimes the one guard does not take away completely the line so uh, the half guard will do that job for you if it's not perfect now with the one and a half guard here I have the lever open I am just blending that one and a half that we did that I did with the number one guard blade open remember we have a two guard all the way up there so we are just blending the one and a half to the two with the one and a half guard <music> 
just uh, just a little side note a one and a half with a one guard blade open is a little bit shorter than the one and a half itself with blade closed if you're having trouble or you know just just make sure that you have that in the back of your head once we finish the bl uh, the blend and the transition and all that fading process we're gonna start doing the the shape up along the perimeters here um the arch with the with your trimmers and now we are going to start working on the top hair i'm just using a clipper over comb I'll comb the hair all the way down. I will section away the banks because the banks needs to be quite a little bit longer in order to layer over everything else. Like in other videos, what I do is I comb the hair to that side that the client will be styling the hair towards to. And I use that transition hair as my guide. And I will work from front to back and side to side. Now I am going to incorporate the the banks just to blend the banks to the rest of the hair. Once again, it needs to be a little longer than everything else in order to layer over. And voila, it is done. Now with my tennis shears, I am starting to just add some texture to the hair. Be careful not to use the tennis shears too close to the scalp. And this is the haircut guys, everything's done. Now I'm just gonna shape them up with a little razor work. And we are finito. There it is, thanks guys for watching, appreciate. Any questions, please drop a comment below and please subscribe. Uh, thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.